Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Are you guys ready for some samurais? Because I, I know guess I so. am. Hey everybody, Marty and Marty are back for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We've cleared the first two cases now. Free to go. Start a new game. First turnabout. Oh yeah, turnabout sisters. <laughs> wow, that looks really crazy. Yeah. Why does everyone wear pink? I just realized. Um, or no, because I guess they have me is no not wearing pink. fashion sense whatsoever. Hey, people can wear pink and be fashionable. For your information. Okay, but red, white, and April May, I would not call fashion. Okay, true. I mean, red, white has, like, diamonds in his tie. That's way too much. Blah. Way too much. Anyhow, we're not talking about red, white's pet bad fashion sense. We're going to episode three, The Turnabout Samurai. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Grah! You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see! Oh my gosh, this is intense. I love this. See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! Whoa! Gah! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode! The Dark Messenger Returns! Still better than pretty much every anime. <laughs> hey now, I like anime! I do not. October 14th, 5.31pm, Wright and Company Law Offices. Are they watching TV there or something? That rocks! See you in hell, evil magistrates! Whoa! Stop waving that broom around! <laughs> oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, ten years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only seventeen. That's seventeen. See, I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me! He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked great school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one! I really worry about kids these days. Grips! <laughs> well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright and Company law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16th, 8.14am. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. I... It's a Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean that guy on the show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No! I mean, he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick! October 16th, 9.22 a.m., Wright and Company Law Office. They really like showing up at 22, I've noticed. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers wow. <laughs> was arrested yesterday. Powers played the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. Wow. Neo Old Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> New Old Tokyo. <laughs> he was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. <laughs> what? 
Why are all of these people ridiculous names? That's actually, like, could be a real name, though, to be fair. It, but it, still. I know. Who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Okay, who would have put a real spear on the show? <laughs> who would have done that? It's gotta look convincing. Okay, but, like, I don't know. I took a sword fighting class, and they always made sure that you had, like, the tip end, like, covered at least a little bit. You could make it look like it wasn't. Just for the class, though, or do they say that this is how they do it on actual Hollywood sets? I think they do it on actual ho Hollywood All right. sets. Alright, well, well. It, this is a video game, so <laughs> it's not going to be completely 100% accurate to reality. Police believe that this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This is also Maya's theme here. Oh, I like it. <laughs> this has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! Steel Samurai's over! The world is over! Oh, it's her yes. cell phone. Right in company law offices. They called her, not Phoenix. Interesting. What? Nick! It's the Steel Samurai! Wh what? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. Oh boy! What's wrong with her cheeks there? Like they just she's, look puff, a she's too puffing big. them out, like because she, she's mad. Okay. She, <laughs> but it looks weird. I think it looks very natural, personally. Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing? I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. I also feel like Maya doesn't have, like, the long, drawn-out syllables at the end. Yeah. That's just me. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Maya, you know I have to present this to everyone. What about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if they keep track of how many times you've shown it. I don't think so. Mia's favorite potted plant. Maya has been watering it so much lately that it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy, happily cleaning the room. <laughs> I wonder if you, like, the bellboy's now, like, best buds. Like, hello, everyone. I'm just cleaning the room. That would, like, be, that would be creepy. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. <laughs> well, that, that's, asked Maya, well, that seems stupid design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is the thought that I have to read these, all of these now. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Oh, yeah. It definitely looks like an office. All right, we Let's gotta move. go. Detention center. October 16th, detention center. Visitor's room. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you don't have to make a gasp every time. It's, I don't know. It's I don't know dark. what to say otherwise. You don't say anything. It's oh, just like a pause in the dialogue. What's wrong, Maya? It's him in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it! Mur! At least once! Maybe twice! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um... Yes? Something wrong? No! No! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh no, oh no! No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. 
I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick! What? He's a good guy! I mean, he's good! Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> he's got some chest hair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and we can also examine stuff, because generally examining stuff in different cases leads to different dialogue. Smile for the camera, or maybe not. Look at that dude. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of Will Powers. He must be a fan of the show. Everyone's a fan. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened? Y yes of course It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But when 5 o'clock came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead! He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. I also like that this is the first case where you... and the first of the remaining cases. Where you don't see you don't see who, You don't see who did it, it at the beginning, yeah. which is nice. Which, like, so now oh it's a no, mystery. I have to cover this up. <laughs> it's Basically. like, well, I wonder who did it. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick! How could you see such a thing? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this, and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? <laughs> no, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? That's literally Sailor Moon, though. They're like, oh, we're in New Old Tokyo! <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that's I thought in there. Yeah. See, at least this acknowledges his dad. I don't know. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9 o'clock. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after five! I was late for the rehearsal! Well, I guess he didn't do it. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and what? brought me here. Okay, that literally makes no sense. It, uh, either he's lying or they're like, someone's trying to frame him. Like, there's liter- Okay, if you're gone that long and you're not at the scene, you're just like, Oh, oh what, what happened? And then all of a sudden, like, they grab- That, that would make no sense. It, it'll make a there. bit more sense in a bit, I think. Okay, okay. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero! What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Hey, thanks. <laughs> wow, Nick! Let's go! I- okay, I can't believe this. I literally just got that Global Studios is a- the homage to like Universal, Universal Studios. Studios. Oh my gosh, I am so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm going to bet ten bucks she asks for autographs. Yeah, she oh, probably will. Oh, hey, uh, Will Powers. You know I'm an attorney, right? <laughs> um, here. I, I see. Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top student in improv class. Wow, Phoenix! Jeez! <laughs> All right. Let's go to... Actually, let's see if Maya has different dialogue now that we've met him. Nope. Alright. Nick, why did we go all the way back here? <laughs> well, I mean, we can go to Global Studios from here. October 16th, Global Studios, Main Gate. Wow! So this is where they make the Steel Samurai show? Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey! You there! You want in? You gotta go through me! Oh! I wonder how many people are going to be like, why are you voicing the old lady? <laughs> I have a reason. It's because she talks really fast, and that requires a lot of editing. And I probably likely. won't know the dialogue. We're, um, lawyers! Oh yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security, and it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. 
Dockers? Dockers, sightseers, tourists! I know of a type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. You've stayed. Something horrible happens and all you can think of is sightseeing. Wasting your time in a place like this. Don't you have jobs you should be doing? Or do warriors not have to work like the rest of us? Maybe I should become a warrior too. Sounds like a life of ease to me. No work, just moving around all days. Please. Well, when I was young, things were my different. Mind you, we didn't prance around in strange hippie clothes. What are the youths coming to these days? My own son hasn't called it. Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen to when you're being spoken to. Youths today! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now I know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so I'll probably have to go in for editing to, uh, to say all that dialogue. Is she wearing roses in her hair? Maybe. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No! You were a star?! Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Oh, wow! This place has really gone downhill, you know? But ten years ago, now that this was that was a studio of the dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to plain villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Oh. The weird thing is she looks familiar and I can't put my finger on it. She kind of has the grandma hair from my neighbors the Yamadas. A little a bit. A little bit. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powell? Can you think about it? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty! How do I know? I know everything! That's my job. Oh, really? She almost looks like a character from Clue. <laughs> like, like on a Clue box. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Okay. I don't know. Like, Miss Peacock or something? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know. Now it's bugging me. What kind of a person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live in on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. Oh. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on children's programs. What's more, I heard that there were pain in peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Humph! I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady who thinks she owns the place, obviously. <laughs> That's Wendy Oldbag for you. Look, we're an attorney. What's that? <laughs> You're giving that to me? Absolutely not! <laughs> you kind of deserve that, Phoenix, <laughs> if you're showing your badge everywhere. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Actually, here, do your best old bag voice. Like, if you can do a better one, we can have you do the voice. Oh, I'm gonna need dialogue, though, to work with. Okay, fair enough. An overhead map of the studios. Next right? time she speaks, I'll try one. Alright, right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. I hadn't thought about it because literally when we were deciding to do this, Artie was like, I have to be Wendy Oldbag. And I was like, wait, what? Like, I had no idea <laughs> well, why. Well, because you saw how fast the dialogue was going by. Yeah. I didn't want you to have to try to keep up with sure. that. And I didn't well, want I you to try. I just don't know how good it would be. I know you have an idea of what you'd want everything to sound like. Well, right. I have in my own mind a mental... Imagine picture a it. picture of every character's voice. But I'm, I'm not going to force you to do that for a lot of the okay. characters. 
Okay. So, like, your my voice is not exactly how I pictured it to sound, but it's fine. Sure. It's better than the voice I could give. Yeah, sure. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No touching! <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Again, we could leave it to the audience to decide. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is the first of these videos is going to go up like when we're almost done recording the True. series, probably. Yeah, right. I don't even think we've uploaded any yet. No, we have not. Hello, how is the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all! Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> oh, poor dude. Yeah, I like Will Powers. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No! I never do that! Just now, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady said she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible! I... I really don't know what to say! I was sleeping! I promise! You seem dressed up. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Hmm, or maybe she's just lying herself. Yeah, she could be. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! Y yes actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio, but let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Grr, she's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of c course. Power's request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. She'd probably be like, this is the victim, or whatever. <laughs> She'll probably be like, I bet you forged it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to do it again, or? Um, yeah, try it. Okay. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request for Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes, yes. I recognize that bold, childish scrawl. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna have you do it. You're gonna have me do it? All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I think there are five characters you get to voice in. Holy Oh. Four or five. <laughs> Dave Powers' request to the security lady. To think that he would entrust his faith to you in such an unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, toward the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Who would leave? <laughs> oh, she snuck it. I was like, who would leave that out? Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! <laughs> Guide map of Global Studios added to the court record. At least she let us keep them. All right. And anything new? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's go. Her to... eyebrows are really weird. <laughs> they make her look a bit evil. Outside Studio One. <laughs> I'm trying to make the face, but it won't work. October sixteenth, Studio One entrance. Oh, it's cute. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? <laughs> it's that confused detective. Hey, pal. You know that Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, no! I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey! Don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey! What exactly are you two doing here? Um, well... We're on this case too, pal! Huh? 
Huh? Hey, you can't go saying pow like that! That's my endearing character trait! I'd say he's a character, all right. <laughs> Goodbye, fourth wall. <laughs> it's Gumshoe again, yay! Do, uh, do you like Gumshoe or are you like, mm? He's fine. I mean, he's a detective. Okay. The investigation. So, how is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal! Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. <laughs> autopsy report added to the court record. <laughs> I like how they do reference past cases, it's really nice. Reason for arrest. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal! The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30, and that person was none other than Will Powers. I wonder if he sleepwalked. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. If no one happened. else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. We already talked to her. N Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. Oh yeah, uh, we should probably check out the autopsy report. Mm, sure. Jack's autopsy report. Time of death, uh, October 15th at 2.30pm. Cause pierced through the chest by a spear. Ugh, not a great way to die. I don't know, if it was instantaneous death, that actually... It was instantaneous, but I feel like... If you, if you bled one, out okay, for the last... The one thing that I know from anime and these types of things is that if you get stabbed in the chest, like, you're gonna be like... Ugh! <laughs> for, like, five minutes. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just anime. No, that's general. that's char charging up attacks. No, her charging those up attacks is... <laughs> I don't watch those shows, so. <laughs> That's, for me, anime Artie has show. a very bad opinion of anime. But because every single anime that I've seen and that you've watched has been like that. I don't watch anime like that. Card Captor Sakura was definitely like that, except instead of guys like, Wah! it was girls like high pitched shrieking. Okay, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I love that show. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer! What? Huh? Uh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some, some coffee. Oh, that's two faced. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Oh. Please tell us, Detective. What kind of evidence? Well, that her photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Oh, yep, right there. Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh, it's like the cars. Oh, no! Nick, his evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go! We've got a free pass to this place! Now's our chance to check things out! Alright, we're right about around the half hour mark. I think that's a good place to sure, stop for today. let's do that. Because I feel like if we can keep it to half hour easily, yeah, we should. Yeah, that'd be good. And we're about halfway through the investigation period. So that's Just it watch for today. Laugh. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. And I'm Marty. Tune in next time. We will be finishing up this investigation period almost certainly. And we'll meet some of the kooky characters around the film, film studios. I'm excited. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.